हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम आस्टो सबस्ती फ्रॉम तीर्थंकर महावीर कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर साइंसेस एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द फैट मेटाबॉलिज्म दैट इज द सिंथेसिस एंड ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ फैटी एसिड्स एज वी नो दैट फैट इज मेड अप ऑफ फैटी एसिड्स एंड हाउ दीज फैटी एसिड्स आर made that is synthesized or how these fatty acids are broken is known as fatty acid ya fat metabolism as we know that lipid play a variety of cellular roles and you must remember that lipids have structural as well as functional roles the whole membranes because membranes are found everywhere in the cells and the main constituent of membranes are lipids fats and oils are important storage forms of reduced carbon in many seeds flowers roots etc Firstly, we will discuss about fatty acid biosynthesis. The fatty acid biosynthesis consists of cycles of two carbon addition. It is a cycle where two carbon molecule, that is acetyl coenzyme A, is added step by step and makes the long chain of fatty acids. in plants fatty acids are synthesized exclusively in plastids but in animals fatty acids are synthesized in cycle the enzymes of the pathway are thought to be held together in a complex known as fatty acid synthesis we see in this process the different reactions are summarized here and we can see that in the first step fatty uh, the formation of myelonyl coenzyme a from acetyl coenzyme a the acetyl coenzyme a takes a molecule of carbon dioxide and makes myelonyl coenzyme a then this myelonyl coenzyme a reacts with acyl carrier protein and makes myelonyl acp in the step 2 that is and then this myelonyl acp in step 3 is combined with another acetyl coenzyme a in step 4 and makes acetoacyl acp in the next step myelonyl acp is removed by the keto group of myelonyl acp is removed by the action of three enzyme this is the three step reaction to form a new acyl chain butyryl acp which is now four carbon na the process starts into two carbon then third carbon carbon is added another carbon is added here and it is now four carbon in the next step another molecule of myelonyl acp joins this butyryl acp resulting in the growing of the chain and the cycle continues until 16 or 18 carbon have been added because we know that fatty acids are long chain of carbon fatty acid may undergo further modification after they are linked with glycerol to form glycerol lipids and the double bond are placed at different places by series of desaturated enzymes now the next step is breakdown of fatty acid the breakdown of fatty acids 
is the reverse process. In this process, two carbon molecule, that is acetyl coenzyme A, is released step by step, systematically. But it starts from the hydrolysis of triglycerols. As we know that one glycerol is joined with three fatty acids for making triglycerides. The result in the free fatty acids enter the glyoxysome where they are activated by conversion to fatty acyl coenzyme A. Fatty acyl coenzyme A is the initial substrate for the beta oxidation series of reaction. The fatty acid breakdown is also known as beta oxidation. The process starts with dehydrogenation of a long chain fatty acid. Which makes trans delta 2 enol coenzyme A. In the next step, a water molecule is added, known as hydration of trans delta 2 enol coenzyme A, and it makes L3 hydroxy acyl coenzyme. In the third step, dehydrogenation of L beta hydroxy acid coenzyme A again to create beta keto acyl coenzyme A that is step 3 and in the fourth step that is final step hyolysis between C2 and C3 alpha and beta carbon here a beta keto acyl coenzyme A which releases first two carbon units as acetyl coenzyme A we remember that joining of acetyl coenzyme A makes fatty acids biosynthesis possible and the release of acetyl coenzyme A is again during breakdown of fatty acid. Thank you.